It will blow you away even when it comes to cleaning. So you thought you've been there, done that, could do it all with a mop. Well, you ain't seeing this. This is your last presentation or the only presentation for today. And not only is Michael Sullivan back, you are going to clean up a storm. And I have to say, Michael, this is the mop that is genius in terms of design. It'll even do glass for crying out loud. This is nuts. I don't care if you've got hardwood floors or formica or tile. I mean, you could do the glass shower doors with this and Michael it is just a genius design it is a genius it is absolutely a genius design <laughs> You're absolutely is. Right. this is mopping made easy if you love a flat mop uh, this is the mop that you need this right here is the bucket It's the in and out mop because it goes in uh, dirty it comes out clean uh, this one obviously has a plexiglass in the front right here so you actually see what's happening it's pretty much like a washer and a dryer for your mop so so this side is to wash, you then take it out, you place it in the dryer side. All you do is simply just push down on the handle. So it's one side to wash, the other side to dry, and the mop always comes out absolutely pristine clean. You're always mopping your floor with a clean, clean mop, which makes good sense, and right? And that's, that's, that's a big deal, because I, it's something, Michael, that I don't think even people even think about. They think, oh, I'm mopping my floor, I'm doing something good, but they forget they're depositing dirty yes. water back on that floor. Yes. I would imagine that's why sometimes I have that residue if I walk across the floor with you know white socks or why the grout is starting to look really gray and this solves all these all those problems yeah no exactly I mean and it's made from a material called microfiber so if you've ever used microfiber before you know it leaves no streak marks or smear no. marks whatsoever which is why you can actually mop on a mirror or a window uh, it's got a 360 degree swivel head that allows you to get into all those difficult to read spots like behind your toilet yeah. bowl up against your baseboards I love this because it lays down so flat look that's nice that if you need to mop underneath a bed or a couch. Uh, very, very simple, very easy to use. But the best part is, of course, is the revolutionary in and out bucket right yeah. here. All you gotta do, look, is just simply turn the mop over. You can see there's the dirt in the pad. Now, to get this clean, your hands will never, ever have to touch this dirty, disgusting mop pad. Nope. We normally you have to peel these off, you throw them away. I mean, it's cash in the trash. All it you is. do, look, is you place it in the bucket, just like so. And you can use any so type of cool. chemicals. You can use, use just hot water. So you just put it in and out just like this. And uh, that's the, uh, the washer side to get it clean. You then take it out of here. You place it in the dryer side. It's got waterfall technology right here. So when you push down, that's what dries the mop. Now look at how clean that wow. mop pad is. You're always mopping your floor with a clean mop, which makes good, good you know, sense, it, it right? You know, it really does. And, you know, and the other thing is you're not, because it comes out clean in that wash and rinse cycle, so to yeah. speak it's a lot easier for those of us out there like myself who have you know back and and shoulder issues you're not toting around some big heavy mop bucket you know with all that water and dragging that all across your floor the other thing about this is michael normally they tell you not to use a mop on your hardwood floors this deposit it leaves no residue it leaves no water it leaves no soapy solution it leaves nothing behind certainly and leaves no mess behind right. either right exactly and that means you don't have to put like the towel down right. underneath yes, your feet. Yes, exactly. And you're I've doing done the that. funky chicken trying to dry <laughs> right. your floor. I've done that actually. And that's what's nice. And what's nice about the bucket too is you control how wet or how dry the mop is. You yeah. see? Now look how you saw how dirty that mop was. All you got to do, look, you just give it a couple of dunks like so. And uh, it's, it's pretty much got like a squeegee in there, it which uh, squeegees out all that dirt right into the nice. bucket where it belongs. You can see now that mop head looks clean. You then just take it out of this side. Yep. You place it in the drier side. I want you to watch right here because this is the waterfall technology you see that so when you push down on the uh, on the mop pad to get, get it dry nice. it squeezes out all the water so you're pretty much now ready to mop your wood floors or tile yeah. floors I mean it's absolutely so easy to yeah. use I it's mean, brilliant yeah. I mean it makes so much sense and when I said earlier now I would imagine if I wanted say to use it on like a, on a glass shower door like an enclosed uh, gl glass area I could do that as well so I could use it wet or dry I'm assuming yes exactly yeah, you can use it wet for mopping, dry for dusting. Um, I mean, this is dust right here on a marble.
swivel surface. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. It's got that 360 degree swivel head that allows you to get into the corners, into those difficult to reach spots. Um, if you have uh, like a travertine, the nice thing, uh, you're getting two mop pads, okay? This one here has the built-in scrubbies. Oh, I see that, yeah. Yeah, so that's great for like cleaning grout, uh, if you have tile floor sure. or travertine floor, no problem whatsoever. Just, uh, yeah, it gets up all that dirt and it always leaves that nice high gloss shine. You can yeah. see right here, that was travertine. This is a tile floor. <laughs> all you gotta do, look, is just simply mop backwards and forwards. You don't have to be a professional no, to use this. You don't. And it will, yeah, it always leaves that nice cleaning, that nice high gloss shine look, gets into your corners, gets right up against your baseboards. Smart. And uh, there is the dirt on the mop. Yeah. How, how do you get this clean? Well, it's very simple. Not like these mops right here, which I'm sure we've all used before. The trouble is with these mops is um, you gotta keep going back to the store yeah. and buying these pads. And you're throwing money away, I mean, at the end of the day. Yeah, it's pretty much like wrapping dollar bills around <laughs> yeah, your mop. You know, why true. not get a mop like this? With, a, your hands never touch that pad. Uh, you get the bucket, it's included. You just simply just slide the mop inside the washer yeah. side. This is the washer side. I mean, this is a brilliant invention by Hurricane. You may have uh, uh, used the Hurricane spin mop before. Yeah. This is the, the version, this is the flat version of the mop. Again, like a washer for your mop. And then you place it in the dryer side, one side to wash the other side nice. to dry. And I'm still using the same bucket. And you can see how clean yeah. that mop pad gets. So you're always mopping your floor with a clean mop. I mean, it makes such good sense. Isn't, isn't that great? And so remember, you get the two mop heads, like Michael was telling you. Of course, you get the telescoping mop with the handle. And then, of course, you get the bucket as well. So the other one, would I use that more for dusting? Or, I mean, because this has like the little nubbies for harder scrubbing. So this is like a nice soft surface if you really want to do a nice high gloss shine, say, on a, a glass or a marble or a tile surface. So you've got all of those great options. It is a $10 price adjustment in honor of the birthday, of course. And it's also on a flex pay of a little over $13 on your credit card. I know we were talking about hardwood floors in particular, Michael, and we love hardwood floors. The problem is when you put them in your home, they never tell you how to clean them. They just say, don't put water on them. Yeah, and, and then you're like, well, how do I wrap my brain around that? What am I supposed to use then? This, you control the amount of water. Exactly. Like we said earlier, that way you don't saturate the wood no. floors with water. That means um, you don't have to put that towel down to dry your wood floors. And uh, look at that. So that's on your wood right there. I mean, it weighs less Pretty. than two pounds. So um, you could easily carry it up and down your staircase if yeah. you've got tile stairs or wooden stairs. Uh, one thing I do love about this mop is um, you can turn it on its side. Look, you can use it to mop your kick plate Yep. If that was like a baseboard, they sell a product out there just for cleaning your baseboards. Oh, wow. They cost $20. Yeah. Look at that, you could use the in and out mop. So it gets into all those difficult to reach spots. Now for dust, I mean, dust gets everywhere, right? Especially uh, where I'm from in California. Look at this, it will pick up the dust. It works like a magnet for dust and dirt. It works like a vacuum for liquid. Uh, even if you've got fake wood floors, this is synthetic wood right over yeah. here. Um, it works on, yeah, literally any wood surface. It's not going to leave your floor saturated with liquid. I mean, I can no. literally mop this floor just like so. I can put a paper towel down. Oh, you can wow. See. Yeah, but, that's bone dry. Yeah, it's not It's not saturated with liquid. No. You control how wet or how dry yeah, that's nice. that mop pad is. Now, um, what, what is the first thing you do before you mop? Cry. Cry. <laughs> uh, cr crack open a bottle call, of wine. Call, call someone else. <laughs> No, we've got to, well, you have to sweep or vacuum. Now, yes. sometimes when you sweep or vacuum, it leaves behind these small little particles, right? Now, I'm gonna make matters worse here. We're gonna put some uh, chocolate, uh, hot chocolate, and we're gonna use some sticky chocolate Ooh. syrup as well. Yeah. Now, so we've got a dry mess, you've got a wet mess, and you've got a sticky mess. Now, remember, this pad is made from microfiber. So not only does it work like a magnet for dust and dirt, but it will also work like a vacuum. For liquid, um, for liquid, so everything sticks to the mop pad like it's like yeah. it's supposed to. Now the cool thing is you don't have to ever touch that dirty, disgusting no. mop pad. When you simply pick it up, you can see there's oh, all wow. your chocolate oh, that's surprise. Oh a lot of pickup, doesn't it? Yeah, there, there's all your chocolate surprise. It smells real good. Right it does there. actually. <laughs> that's one of the few messes you make that does actually smell kind of appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> but th what's interesting to me is when you first started that, I, I, I thought, oh, I'm not so sure because it was it was dry and it was wet 
and it was sticky. I mean, so there were a combination of things going on, but it handled it with a breeze. Yeah, it picks up literally everything, yeah. so you don't necessarily have to sweep, so it's going to cut your cleaning time in half. But this is the magic. This is the in and out bucket, okay? So the mop goes in dirty. Obviously, it's going to come out clean. Your hands will never touch that dirty, disgusting nope. mop pad or touch that dirty, disgusting mop water. So that's the cleaning, cleaning side. You then place it in the dryer side, and then you simply just push down yeah. the handle. It's got that waterfall technology. Now, what I do at home, obviously, you see the pad's completely clean there. What I do at home now is just leave the mop in the bucket. Yeah. Okay, so you, you can just put it in your closet just like it, as it is. No, if someone comes around and they're like, oh, oopsie daisy, you know, made a little mess, or, you know, the, the dog had an accident, then you then just grab your mop, yep. take it out of the bucket, you clean up the mess just like so. It's nice and easy, quick and fast. Yeah. You then just rinse the mop, and uh, I mean, that's how easy it is. You don't have to put the, you know, put a pad on oh, right. and, and then you've got to throw that pad away, which is not good for the environment no. if you're using those mops. This, you wash it, you reuse it. The heads actually do come off. They are machine yeah, was washable as that. well. But so you if, you, if you wanted to sanitize it, say, I mean, like, I'm picking up a dog yeah. mess yeah. <laughs> or something like that, you can do that. Michael, I was going to ask, now the one has like a more of a nubby texture. Yes. Is this like a soft for like dusting? Yes, the, like the gray pad, this one has the, the non-abrasive scrubbers on it, which is right. the white one. That's the one I'm using right now this uh, this other one is uh, microfiber which is great for like polishing for windows oh, yeah, for yeah. mirrors or if you want to use it that's what I like to use on uh, you can use it on wood floor it's oh, great for that as I well bet. and uh, yeah but you can see by the animation here I mean um, yeah I mean the cool thing is I mean you pretty much get everything you need to mop any surface in your house yeah. You know, for under under forty dollars, I mean, it's such an incredible value. It, it is so best value that we've ever offered, only in honor of our birthday. As long as supplies last, a little over thirteen dollars on your credit card, and you know, most of us don't like to clean. If you do, please come to my house. But for those of us who are in the rest of that category, we want to make your job easier, and that's really what this does. The other thing about this is, to Michael, when I, I I look at it. It, it's small but mighty. You know, it's got a really sleek, thin, streamlined profile, but doggone it, it does have great pickup and great versatility, too. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. I mean, that's it's nice. And uh, what I love about it is that 360-degree swivel head, like so. So it does get right up against your baseboards, gets behind your toilet bowl. Now, I'm mopping on glass right there. I don't know if you can see, if you, I mean mirror. No one mops on a mirror. No except one. Except for me. Yes, really. Hurricane Mop Man Mikey, you see, because look at that. I just want to prove to you that it leaves no streak marks or nope. smear marks all that nasty dust is in the mop pad then to get it clean Smart. I want to show you right here that remember th this this bucket is a special bucket because it's got the clear glass in the front so you can actually see what's happening so uh, you did you, that for demonstration just purposes. for demonstration purposes yeah. yeah so when you push down on the pad you can see right there how it releases all that dirt right into the bucket where it belongs I mean it makes good good sense you then take it out of here you place it in the dryer side so one side to wash the other side to dry now for for the price for getting a mop like this you never have to buy those extra refills you get two pads you get the uh, the bucket you get the mop I mean it's such an incredible value and it is a customer pick so don't take my word for it don't trust me please go to hsn.com you can read the reviews on there the customers are jumping up and down and this yeah, is a it. brand brand new mop offered by hurricane so if you've tried the spin mop and you, you love the spin mop or you want to try a brand yeah. new flat mop, this is the mop to get. Don't waste your money getting those, those flat mops in the stores no. because this is so much better. For sure. All right. Remember, uh, this is Michael's only presentation, so he, he came in specially for me. Thank it's you. Especially for you because I love you. You know, I love you back. You're always welcome to make a house call over at my house. <laughs> yes. and, you know, if, if you want to practice some demos, I'll put you to work. <laughs> Michael, good to see you. Good Thank to see you, you too, darling. Uh, all right. I'm going to the great outdoors. We've got some more surprises for you, but Adam is coming up. He's going to give you a little sneak peek at what we have